And so, we begin here on Battlefield. Pretty standard starting spot for these two characters. Yeah, the gun <laughs> for Falco is going to be huge. Whereas Sheik, obviously, is going to have... Uh, her edge guarding game is going to be super on point between back air, as you just saw. And and that kind of stuff can happen to Falco at just about any person. I mean, with most characters, because Falco's uh, recovery is... That's just how it be. But <clears throat> especially between... With Sheik, Sheik not only has uh, back air, obviously, forward air, and then uh, needles, projectiles... Tons of options off stage to perfectly slap Falco away from the stage. Uh, Falco, on the other hand, is going to want to be super on top of his combo game on stage, keep the stage control, and probably play it more. S if I were pretending as him, I'd definitely be trying to play it safe <laughs> and not go anywhere near the stage. Um, I actually don't know um, how good Sheik's chain grab is. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that was actually really funny. He tried to, like, shine a needle so that he could make it back. <laughs> and then he did shine the needle. But Captain Face will just throw another one and he got gimped anyway. <laughs> That's, like, really funny. Um, unfortunate, though. <laughs> but good try. I'm going to fix up the stream layout real quick. Yeah, all right. Mm -mm. All right, there we go. That should all be more or less set up for the rest of this. Mm -mm. All right. But yeah, Pajama Zam, obviously underdog here. Um, he's doing <laughs> decent enough. Nice up tilt, nice down. Oh, that was like the perfect angle for getting uh, Captain Face for off stage. All right, upper. Ooh, doesn't kill the great DI by uh, face roll. Oh, wow. That air dodge was, like, really crazy. He managed to air dodge, like, diagonally and, like, dodge the noodles, even though it ended up landing him, like, right in front of uh, Sheik. Ooh, nice. Right to ledge. Ooh, that was also really nice. That might... Yep, that's going to be a stock. Obviously, uh, Captain Face will just kind of feel in his extra stock. Just kind of went out there to see if it could happen. I'm pretty sure he was well aware that that was kind of a silly edge guard attempt. Mm -mm. Uh, okay, got the grab, but <laughs> mashes out really fast. Holy shit. I mean, you know, 0%. And here we go. We're going to see. Ooh, doesn't get a re grab. Good shine by Sam Pajama Sam. Needles just do so much damage. And especially uh, <coughs> with Sheik. Just sitting back and lasering as Falco is not the best option. She's so fast, she can maneuver around it. She can charge up needles at an angle and, like, use that against you at a distance. So, being on point with your combo game. Oh, can we get that down there, though? Oh, he was a bit too far out. Too close to stage. Mm -mm. <laughs> he, like, uppies and then gets <laughs> slapped by forward air. That was just a weird moment in this match. Ooh, that's going to look like the end for Pajama Sam. Yep, the forward air takes it. All right, so if anything, I almost feel like... Uh, I don't know. I mean, more space, perhaps a bigger stage? I don't know. No, we're going to be taking away... Uh, I kind of agree with this, too, though. Getting rid of the top platform is going to be, uh, I think, a good idea. Make it harder for Sheik to get around. Oh. Oh. I thought he would go for a regrab. Mm -mm. With the best of five, though, you can kind of mess around. I mean, you have games to spare, technically, but obviously, it's, you have to win three of them, so. Mm -mm. Oh, good laser damage. He's actually starting off really strong. And that's the set. He only took 3% damage, too. Mm mm. Captain Face Roll is <laughs> probably probably got the slightest bit comfy from that last set or last game and is probably like slowly turning it back on. Because right now, uh, Pajama Sam is starting this game off like almost perfectly. Oh, and as I say that, he kills himself. That's rough. But, you know, keeping a strong hand. I mean, the dude fights against Army all the time and probably gets wobbled like all the time. I feel like he probably has pretty good uh, headspace when it comes to Smash. <laughs> 
Because, I mean, if you can handle being wobbled all the time, I think you can handle a single SD. But, you know, tournament nerves, you're against a player you really want to beat, it'd be an amazing upset. These side B recoveries are, like, kind of sketch me out, though, because on the first one, he went way too low. Not way too low. Ah, mildly way too low. And then that last one was, like, uh, you went, like, right into him with your side B. That's kind of scary. Oh, I think he tried to ledge cancel that, but he's a bit off. Mm -mm. These downers. Oh, and then Sheik also. I love Sheik's downer. Oh, that down tilt was close. Ooh, we're charging the needles. Oh, <laughs> he landed right in front of Sheik. <laughs> it's just so funny. Like, pajamas... Uh, recoveries have been interesting, I guess, to say the least. He's definitely not doing what I would consider conventional. Very much just going at face roll uh, with each recovery. Mm -mm. Ooh, look. Oh, that was a really <laughs> fun moment in neutral. They both just kept dodging each other, but throwing out hitboxes in such a confined space. Oh, and here we go. This is going to probably be a lot of damage for Captain Face Roll. Uh, Keeps re reacting to these rolls. Uh, that tilt was interesting. I don't know about that. I thought he would just keep re-grabbing. But I guess once you hit this percent, might as well clean up the stock. Ooh, that's that's dead. <laughs> and he knows it too as he goes into the Blossom. Mm -mm. So yeah, Pajama Sam started off really strong. We'll see if maybe he can clean up this last stock. But ultimately, uh, stuff like this can really get to get to a player because it's like okay if I tech in place maybe he won't guess that I'll tech in place again it's all about doing mix-ups but obviously at a certain point uh, especially with characters with not good tech rolls she can kind of react and catch you anyway <clears throat> Ooh, we like got that tree working with us though tree wall all right I think captain uh, he just needs like one more hit oh I thought he would go for the upper Oh, Shine. And now <laughs> Captain Face was at such a percent that he almost can't get follow-ups on Shine. And that'll take game two. Uh -uh. We'll see what he picks. So far, Battlefield didn't really work out too well. PS2 started good. And then, oh, we're just, we're going less and less platies with each, with each game. So triple platy, uh, first game with Battlefield. Didn't go the most hot. Game two, we saw PS2, the dual platies, but mm -mm. that was really good at the beginning, uh, but he kind of fell apart towards the end. Captain Face Roll's punish game has been really on point. And then now we're here, we're on game three, no platforms, which is, uh, I don't know. I feel like this just makes it a lot, I, mean, eh, I guess it doesn't really change how easy it is for Captain Face Roll to mm -mm. <coughs> check chase you. But I feel like that was what was really getting Pajama Sam towards the end of that last set is just um, you keep getting re-grabbed and he gets uh, Face Roll is getting so much damage off of these grabs. Even stock count grabs the ledge. Oh, was that power she could? Gosh, I like, couldn't even tell. All right, yeah, here we go again. This is pretty safe by Face Roll. Just low key, keep juggling him. He keeps like. Uh, trying to roll away and I don't know. I mean, this is something as a player would definitely get me too. Is it's really hard to think like, okay, I just checked in place. He's been getting me on every roll. If I roll away or roll uh, the other way, I guess roll towards or away the uh, face roll, he can more or less react to it. If I tech in place again, maybe he won't guess it. <laughs> but then of course, you know, he's a top player. He like <laughs> can almost guess. That you're going to take in place again. <laughs> Yo, what up, Young? Uh, Not a whole lot. Wishing for my boy Pajama Sam, but uh, it's looking rough. He's getting wobbled. <laughs> uh, yeah, oh, my basically. God. Ooh he almost made that. <laughs> I could see <laughs> Cat I'm Face will sm smirk there. He was like, yeah, that was fine. Dude, I got knocked out. <laughs> Yeah, ultimately, like I think the the big there's a variety of things, but the biggest thing that keeps getting uh, oh Pajama Sam God. is that he just gets grabbed and he just takes so much damage and yeah. he just can't get out of the tech chase and it's just like oh no, really Rose demoralizing. Like the, he's the reaction tech chase god. He, he's yeah, the, yeah, he's yeah. He's the best tech chaser in the world. Like hands yeah, down. yeah, no, and it shows too because it's like he does it. It looks so like not slow, but just so precise. Yeah, like he doesn't even dash dance. He just like 
stands there and just goes. Yeah, it's like he's <laughs> just like, he's just like, you're going here, now you're going here, now you're going there. there. <laughs> yeah, he just, <laughs> it's like really, and that like super gets to a person. Because like with wobbling, it's like, okay, I got grabbed, I'm done. Yeah, there's but nothing you could do about it with, yeah. with like tech chasing. It's like, you think you could do something about yeah. it, and you're like, well. Like, and you feel way worse about yourself too, because yeah. it's like, oh man, like Wait, I feel on. like I'm fucking up. <laughs> Parker, you beat Maru? Let's fucking go, dude. Holy shit. Mm -hmm. You're a fucking god. Holy uh, shit. I actually don't feel bad about losing to Parker now. Yeah, I guess he beat Maroof. I really wanted to see that set. I was sad that it was uh, 